Hi guys, this is DMNC. Welcome to our channel. Subscribe and don't forget to the bell icon. Freddie Mercury loved to give presents all year long and kept a special book with him at all times wherever he went. Even today, the Queen legend send out presents every Christmas. Freddie famously said, Money may not be able to buy happiness, but it can damn well give it. But he didn't just flash his money around for effect. Freddie always took time and cured to select the perfect gift for those he loved. He explained, a little gift, a gesture, a nuance means far more than someone buying you a Big Ben. He was still doing just that during his final weeks. His PA Peter Freestone revealed that Freddie was always thinking about his friends. In an interview, he said, Freddie thought more about other people than himself. He knew people like me and Joe would look after him, so he could look after his friends. He took such pleasure in that. He had a birthday book with every single birthday of every friend in there. He wanted to make sure he never forgot a single one. And his generosity continued at Christmas. Elton John famously described how he visited Freddie during his final days and found him propped up in bed still shopping. What he didn't realize was that Freddie was buying gifts to send out after he had gone, including something very special for Elton. He also arranged an incredible gift for loved ones which would be delivered to them every single year. Elton said, Freddie loved collecting Japanese art um, and collecting at auction. So while he was dying, he was still buying things at auction. They, he would be surrounded on the bed and there'd be medicine all around him, medicine, cabinets, pills, but auction catalogs. And it was astonishing. I thought, this is amazing. This man has such a love of life that he's not thinking about dying whatsoever. He's still thinking about living. And he showed no fear to me about, about dying and no fear um, or sadness. He went round there and you went round there and you, had, you held an audience with Freddie. And I collect a painter called Henry Scott Tuke. At Christmas morning, um, Tony King again, who's a link in my life, came and gave me this, um, this pillowcase. And uh, his drag name, my drag name is Sharon, as you read in the book. And he was Rod Stewart's Phyllis, and we've all got drag names. David Doy never had one. He was always Mrs. Bowie, and Mick was always Mrs. Jagger. But Freddie was Melina, as in Melina Mercury, the Greek actress. And it, in this beautiful pillowcase was this watercolor of Henry Scott Tuke. And in the note that went with it, it said, Dear Sharon, I saw this at auction and thought you'd love it. I love you, Melina. And, well, you can imagine how much I cried. Um, it was really moving um, and he was dying and he still thought of his friend and he bought me this and I still have it on its, pet, on its easel and I still have the pillowcase next to my bed um, that's the kind of person he was he was so full of love and life Every year, indulgent Christmas hampers are sent out from the luxury store Fortnum & Mason. They are delivered to close friends and his godchildren. A spokesperson for the store said, We do think it's a lovely gesture.